dust? I mean, like you said last uh, year. Yes, yes, it is. And the mood seems to be, according to our Treasury Secretary Gessner and uh, Bill, uh, toward a, a shorter uh, recession, not a 10-year recession. Uh, now, Dan and I have collaborated for many years. He's not here this year for the third straight year. I don't know why. Uh, couldn't communicate with him, but he's always, he's always been reliable, and we've collaborated uh, over the years. But the tilt is sort of a shorter recession, partly because a 10-year recession would damage uh, Bilderberg uh, industrialists uh, themselves. Uh, as much as they want to have a department of uh, global department of labor and the global department of uh, uh, every uh, treasure and everything, uh, they still like making money. And such a prolonged recession would cost them big bucks industrially because nobody's buying their toys. Now, they're not all industrialists. Some of them just uh, born to great wealth and uh, watch it pile up. And some are high officials of the government and so forth. But tilt is toward keeping it short but using it. To, uh, you know, within two years, you can make people miserable enough to accept anything. Seems to be the view. Okay, to be clear, Jim, people. you're saying, you're confirming that they, as you said three years ago and two years ago and last year, you said they were going to cut oil prices in half when it was at $149 a barrel and suddenly it plunged because they really are running things. This isn't predictions. This is what the elite are saying. Are you saying that, yes, indeed, they've engineered the crisis to, to, to terrorize people into accepting the new bank of the world, the new world currency? Either they engineered it or they're surely celebrating it. Uh, they will uh, are exploiting it to uh, uh, promote the, well, as you said, also the new world currency. But they've been so far behind their schedule on that. In fact, the Patriots have been winning, as I've said so many times. Yeah. Bilderberg, Bilderberg was confident in having the American Union by the year 2000, and that was nine years ago. And we don't have enough Mario yet. Uh, they were first one just dollarize the Western Hemisphere. Here, but now they went to be in the Mario. Oh, so uh, they do want to go with the Amero. Jim, in the limited time we have left, just a few final questions. You said record security that they shut down the entire palace area and three hotels yep. in the resort. You said you've never seen this level of security. Why? Do you have any inside uh, info on why they're they're acting so afraid? Well, they're appearing what every year as uh, secret that they try to make it. Uh, they get widespread publicity. In fact, uh, Charlie Shelton going to have a piece, I think, Monday in the print edition of uh, his paper, The Guardian. Uh, there's a lot of uh, uh, freelance reporters here, others associated with various uh, broadcast uh, networks and newspapers, and there's uh, seems to be just about as many uh, journalists as there was before, and it's hard to get the uh, for demonstrations with, uh, with cars being stopped and uh, people bullied or fully two and a half miles away from the scene of the uh, gate. So uh, while there's less dramatic protests like you saw at Chantilly last year, they're here, and the journalists are here. Wait a minute, Jim. The, Jim, I, I was saying police were coming up and arresting people 100 yards away. You're saying two and a half miles away. Because I keep seeing videos yeah. where it's like seashore and trees and no buildings around and highways. Are there just, po po from what I've been told, there's police just everywhere arresting people all over the I mean, this is total police state. I mean, the, the, I mean, the media should be all over this with their reporters being arrested. Oh, and they, they surely are uh, taking the guy's camera and pulling out the film are forcing them to erase it. They have one of those gizmo cameras where they can simply erase it. Uh, they're doing that. They did, uh, did uh, Charlie Shelton three times. Uh, he's a button for punishment. And there's been a large number of guys who've told of those experiences. Okay, Jim, so, in, uh, uh, Jim Tucker, in closing, when are you getting back to the United States so we can get a full 30-minute report here on air from you? When are we going to see the big print edition in American Free Press with all the details? Uh, that will be in the one that goes to press uh, next Thursday. The next one you get if you have, let's see, this is Friday. The one mailed out today, uh, or, or Thursday night, last night, will we'll have the story filed prior to the, uh, the meeting itself. Okay, what has security done to you? Because you always do the ritual of trying to walk into the gate. Have you not done that this time? Oh, I did, but they, uh, 
didn't say a word to me. They just turned the car, made the cab driver turn around, and uh, uh, I was speaking to them, but they just gave me that uh, a funny look. As you know, they've known, uh, well, they know me for years from the photographs they've taken, and so he knew who I was. Well, all several cops knew who I was, but they told the driver, that the cab driver he had to go away, and so, well, the way the gate was locked, he couldn't even crash through if he wanted to. Uh, Jim, so do you think they involved. were angry uh, from last year when we were only 50 yards away bullhorning them with you there? Well, they're angry from every year. No. Uh, every year they're angry that they've been discovered. They're angry that there's protesters. They're angry that there's reporters. But I'm hopeful that they'll cough up the list because of uh, major newspapers are now uh, covering the story. There's a heavy yeah. story in uh, 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 the Times of, uh, of uh, London. London today, uh, and there's going to be more tomorrow, so I'm hoping they're cough it up. But it's in closing, we'll Jim, lot... sure, sure. Uh, uh, in closing, Jim, to interrupt you because we're almost out of time in 30 seconds. They seem to be very grim faced, you said in your article in American Free Press. Are they upset? Are things going well for them? No, things are going bad for them. Americans are responding, the Europeans are responding, and their program has been blocked. They're still trying to do these things we discussed earlier, and we have to keep fighting so that they don't succeed. Well, this is the Global Cabal, and you're there on the front lines, once a voice in the wilderness, now many people joining you. Jim Tucker, go with God. We're praying for you, and we'll talk to you again next week. Great job, sir. Thank you. Bye. All right, there goes Jim Tucker. All right, ladies and gentlemen, stay with us. Coming up, we'll talk to the London Guardian reporter, who's reportedly been detained or harassed or arrested for the third time.